Namaste. And now I would like to give my voice to your uniqueness, to the power and the gift of your uniqueness, which is very important and even essential for the growth of our collective. So first of all, we can realize the great and fundamental paradox between unity and diversity. So first of all, where is that mysterious, homogeneous one? That which is and only is and within that one there is an idea of separation which allows that one to express itself and experience itself as many. So one is many and many are one. And everyone Every separation of that one has its own unique awareness of itself and with that unique free will of itself. And through that free will everyone draws the same potential from that same infinite source of the one. So, in that way, where is balance? Where is equality? Because everyone is different and in that way, everyone is the same. So, that is fundamental cosmic law or cosmic order of free co-creation based on unconditional love because all expressions serves the same purpose and desire for the one to know itself and appreciate itself. And in the same way, your unique self, your unique reflection ser serves all other selves and all other selves in the same way serve yourself. So it is perfect harmony. And you can realize that perfect harmony when you understand this principle, these fundamental principles. So, you are that much valuable. Without you, where would not be all that is, all of that infinite co-creation and knowingness. You are essential part in that. You are chosen one, and everyone is chosen one, chosen by that same one. And that one infinite source desires to express itself and experience itself as you. So appreciate your unique free will and empower it because it serves that great revelation, that great appreciation of the self in all forms, in all creation you support and being supported. And that same principle goes in all realities and in our particular earth 
reality, our co-agreed game of this physical reality in this time, in this age. Yeah, we, we co-agreed to play this game as those aspects of infinite existence to the same pur purpose to appreciate our existence through the variety of experiences that we can generate together in this earth, in this collective. So in the same way your individuality in this life is very important to the evolution of this earth collective and maybe even more collectives that we are not aware of now but there are beings in the in this infinite creation that can also observe us and learn from us learn from our ways to go through our challenges and so on so yeah it is really important for you to accept and appreciate your uniqueness and I also understand that this is one of the biggest challenge for many of us because we still carry many fears from our past from from the past of this collective of being abandoned of being isolated, alienated, punished for expressing yourself differently, for thinking differently, acting differently and so on. So we can still carry those fears even in our genetics. But now it is a different time in our history. Now it is the age of awakening and transformation so now we can see all of those limiting ideas more clearly and then we can allow those ideas to naturally integrate into wider perspective of love and wisdom so that's how evolution works and now this evolution comes into more and more conscious process when we consciously willingly expand our awareness expand our love our unconditional love and with that all of those old ideas and ways naturally shrinks down in that bigger picture as you maybe also saw some fractal animations uh, of zooming out uh, how everything shrinks into bigger and bigger picture so in the same way with evolution uh, we evolve not by judging old things not by segregating separating from them ignoring all of those things but we really evolve by appreciating those things and learning from those things learning lessons of wisdom and extracting inspirations to grow and and empower ourselves even more know ourselves even more and then yes then we can harmoniously expand and and involve our worlds, our collectives, our dimensions yes, by involving all the variety because uh, we can hardly have a good uh, harmony for example in music when we repeating only one and the same note so we need more notes, we need more variety, more diversity to create more inspirational, expansive harmony. 
and um, also it is important to solve the paradox between love for variety and love for the one because I see that some people get lost in variety by forgetting the one that everything comes from the same source and when we can lose our sense of direction and harmony between all various things in this world and some people sometimes goes extremely for the one for the oneness by separating and, and judging variety so in that way that experience of oneness gets dried gets weak not alive so we need to find each for 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 ourselves we need to find that balance between variety and oneness and we can understand that variety enriches understanding of the one awareness of the one and that awareness of the one helps to organize the variety into one harmony that point also can be illustrated through the analogy of the window behind me this triangular window so you can see that this wider part of the window can represent collective or variety and you can see that it narrows down into one narrows down into individual so collective narrows down to individual and variety narrows down into one into oneness so the more we open to collective to variety the more clearly we can understand the oneness and our unique role in that collective our integral role when we really tuning in into collective deepest desire and at the same time in our individual heart desire when we can find that harmonious relationship we can find that there is no real contradiction between those polarities there is always that balance point which harmonizes everything and with that yes we can experience that harmonious growth into all the thisness of ourselves and with that note i will leave you to be your unique note in this universal symphony in this universal synchrony of miraculous synchronicities and so i will see you and hear you there